My name is Jacob Spellis with Vital Health. Thank you for checking out this video today. I want to talk about cognitive distortions. I think it's so critical when we take a look at our life to look at you know our self as an assessment really knowing who you are taking a self-assessment is so critical but everybody can spot the errors and everybody else thinking but can we do it for ourselves? and we talk about psychology we talk about some of the theories that drive practice kinds of distortions is one a lot of this work has been done with maybe criminal thinking a lot of this work has been done with some personality disorders i've seen before substance abuse and a lot of other things. It can apply to our daily life. There's many theories and kinds of distortions like fallacy of change. Say I'm getting into a new relationship and we know they've had 14 divorces, you know, but we think we're that special 15 person that's gonna jump in there and change everything. Or, you know, we got a friend that keeps backstabbing us and, you know, we have emotional logic behind it. Like, well, they're a good person. They only stole $20 from me. You know, they didn't have food. This is when emotions, get in the way of making logical decisions. And everything sounds easy when you're on the other side of the table. Taking the vice is always the hard part when you think about some of our thinking errors, you know, and I want you guys to really think and we'll dive deep into, you know, just some of them. What are some roadblocks, you know, in your life? It sounds a little crazy, but you know, when I was incarcerated, I remember sitting on a, uh, you know, it's like a bunk bed, like when you're in a camp. I remember literally thinking to myself, if I don't commit crimes, I won't go to jail. And and I thought I was like the biggest genius in the world when I came up to that theory. You know, a lot of people that have similar stories for me come up different ways like me. That might make sense, you know, it, it takes a lot of effort. I see a lot of people in the criminal justice system, they're like, if I do this crime well, it's only six months jail sentence, but if I do this crime, it's 10 years. Sometimes we think making the decision to do the lesser crime helps us out. But in all reality, you know, that's not true. We know that will put us in atmospheres and areas that we don't want to be in. This is kind of the kinds of distortions that can affect our life on a daily basis. We could be eating a diet really well, you know, we eat good for two days, but then we eat bad for two days and we think like it evens out. It probably has more damages on our body than, than we really think. Think about a lot of kinds of distortions that maybe impacts your life every day. Everybody has them. Everybody goes through them, impacts your life, you know? There's another one I always like, the all or nothing thinking. If I don't make this decision today, you know, we think somebody that was our friends, you know, they, they sent us an email and it might come out wrong to us or we might have an idea. Everybody's had that where a friend texts us and we read it wrong or we don't know their intention behind it. So we think, hey, they hate me. They don't want to talk to me no more. <laughs> That's kind of that all or nothing thinking or, you know, instead of giving that person a phone call and say, hey, what did you mean exactly by this? Think about how many friendships and relationships are destroyed over minor stuff like this because we didn't understand how we think and how other people think just in general. We always, we always have that one family member that we know just says stuff off the wall or thinks they're this certain way or think they have this life or you know I hate to say this too you might have a, a lady or a gentleman that you know they don't know why they can't date supermodels and they don't realize that they don't fit the criteria <laughs> to date that supermodel or something of that nature you know I think we have to admit anything you know here today on this video or nothing but you know just kind of think about in your day-to-day -day life you know and, you know vital health we provide counseling services group therapy medical services a lot of this goes into our day-to-day -day stuff we're thinking of ways to attack that you know one of the most common research back therapies is cognitive behavioral therapy where you're literally thinking changing the way that we think changing the way we approach life did life happen to me or for me and that's a big thing to always think about every day you know we always see those people that those what if people if I had your life those type of people try to stay away from those people that can never catch a break and can never overcome any thing and if, 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 if they were you I was sick one time like very sick I was battling cancer and I would have people say that well at least you have this I'm thinking like I do I got a death wish right now what are you what are you talking about you know but you know that was perspective their perspective looking in literally facing death and they see some sort of life in that situation thank you for tuning in today if you like the video on kinds of distortions I can break them down you know kind of one by one or you know maybe list some of yours that give you that lazy thinking or that gets you in trouble or that we keep
occupant roadblocks in our day-to-day -day life. Again, my name is Jacob Spells with Vital Health. Thank you.